you can drive around the study is, is very unique in the, the way we conducted the research. Um, the challenges associated with the, with the project were how to create a driverless vehicle. Um, and one way to do that is by using what we refer to as the ghost driver methodology, where a driver is hidden in the seat, so you can't see them if you were to glance into the vehicle, um, but then you can drive around effectively as, as normal, uh, and it gives the impression of a driverless vehicle. With manually driven cars, you often find that pedestrians will, will wave and, and, and gesture to the driver. What was really interesting with the study, and particularly with me as hidden driver, um, was that people still continue to do so. So they would wave and thank the car, even though there was no driver present. We collected data from, from the videos, and we also collected survey responses. So we did ask people what they thought of the vehicle too. From those, we discovered different levels of trust associated with the different EHMIs, but we also noticed things like different amounts of visual attention that they, they attracted. So for example, the smiley face with the eyes uh, really captured attention, so glances were longer. Moving forward, um, there's two particular things that we want to focus on in future work. Our study was very much a, an initial experience, a sort of snapshot study, but we need to understand how people will interact with these vehicles over an extended period of time. The second thing that we're particularly interested in is we want to consider the wider range of road users who will interact with these vehicles, so cyclists and increasingly um, uh, micro-mobility users. <laughs>